Pokemon has been around for a long time, with new games coming out year after year, continuously updating their storyline's history. The story begins in a void of nothing when suddenly an egg appeared, later hatching into Arceus. It is the oldest Pokemon in existence that we know of. After being born, Arceus creates Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. Dialga and Palkia helped to create the universe. Dialga roared into the void, and the concept known as time burst into being. Palkia rendered space, releasing titanic waves of matter into the darkness, and the void became known as space, populated with galaxies, planets, and blazing stars. Finally, Giratina on the other hand created antimatter to oppose Palkia's matter. Silently, antimatter appeared in every corner of space, bringing balance to that chaotic realm. The universe as we know it had been born, and yet the peace was short-lived. Each seeing its creation as more important than the others, a bitter war erupted between the three children. Time spiraled out of control, threatening to send the universe back to the chaotic blackness that had ruled before. And space grew unstable once more, pierced by antimatter known as black holes. Seeing this, Arceus unleashed his first judgment, banishing each of the trios to their own separate realms, while simultaneously locking much of their power into three mysterious orbs. The war was over. Arceus then went back to creating. After the early formation of the world, Arceus would then create Azel, Uxie, and Mispirit to give every Pokemon a human willpower, knowledge, and emotion, respectively. Humans would later consider them the Lake Guardians. Years later, from the magma deep inside one of Palkia's planets, Primal Groudon was formed, and in the deep sea trenches, the pressure formed Primal Kyogre. In the sky, Rayquaza was formed by the minerals of the ozone layer. While Primal Groudon expanded its lands, Primal Kyogre expanded its oceans. Inevitably, the two would encounter each other, and ever since then, they became rivals. They continued conflicting for dominance, until eventually, Mega Rayquaza would appear, quelling their fight. This caused the two to retreat to the special caves where they slept, losing their primal forms. The red and blue orbs were created to prevent their reawakening. On the planet, through Groudon's land creation, Regigigas is born and moves the continent with his titan fellows, forming various regions. During this violent procedure, however, Heatran is formed in the lava. At that time, roaming the planet was an abundance of Mews. Over time, the Mew population began dwindling, but instead of going extinct, the Mew began changing into Pokemon best suited for their environment. For example, in the sea, ancient Pokemon like the Kabuto line and Karakosa line, which later became the ancestors to all turtle Pokemon, were formed. Mostly all fossil Pokemon from the past are walking around the land at this time, like Armaldo and Archops, which is also the ancestor to all bird Pokemon. Eventually, Regigigas and its titan companions began to oppose Arceus for some reason. Thus, Arceus in a fit of rage killed its companions and used their power to charge several slabs that floated around Arceus. However, Arceus doesn't kill the remaining Regigigas because their status type is similar, so Arceus just gravely injures it. This gives credence to Regigigas' ability, which is slow start. Later, a meteor hits the earth, possibly a form of Deoxys, and wipes out almost all the Pokemon. The last Regigigas began wandering the planet, searching for its companions whom it missed very much. But after it realized that it was the last of its kind, it began to create similar titans. Different ages passed throughout history. During the Ice Age, Swinub and many other ice Pokemon roamed the lands. This is also when Regigigas created Regice. Later, during the Stone Age, it created Regirock. And during the Iron Age, Registeel was created. At this point in time, humans began worshipping Regigigas, as it cleared many forests and mountains to allow civilization to settle. After creating those three toilets, it was eventually sealed away by humans, for its power was too frightening and dangerous. The three Regi trio were also sealed alongside it, and a puzzle was made. This puzzle required the oldest fish in existence and the biggest fish to be used together, in hopes that one day, a hero would come and solve this puzzle and tame these Pokemon. Several millennia pass, and the first human war begins. A lot of Pokemon killed for their trainers, and many passed away. One such Pokemon was Flabebe, as it passed away from a trainer's party. This person would be in so much grief that he created a device to resurrect his Pokemon, and it succeeded. However, his grief would later then turn to anger, as he turned his device into a weapon that ended the war, killing millions. The trainer's Pokemon, resurrected, has now eternal life. But, the Pokemon trainer had become destructive, and thus, after seeing this destruction, Flabebe left him. The weapon that he fired was so powerful that it caused a split in the universe. On one end, there would be a universe with the introduction of the Mega Stones, and on the other end, no such thing would ever exist. In the first universe, multiple meteor showers rained down on the Dragonic people and this awakened Groudon and Kyogre. They awakened after millions of years of slumber and fought over control of the land. They eventually unleashed their primal forms, and chaos ensued. It was only until many prayers from people that Rayquaza finally descended from the sky and because of all the prayers, finally turned into its mega form once again, and ended the fighting. The humans consider it their savior of the Pokemon world.
Time would pass and the invention of the Pokeballs would occur in the Johto region where Apricorns grew. These fruits were cut apart and carved out, then fitted with a special device and used to catch wild Pokemon prior to the mass production of the Pokeballs that occurs in modern times under Silph Co. and the Devon Corporation. 1500 years before modern times, the earliest known system for writing is developed. Years before modern times, the Tin Tower and the Brass Tower were constructed. At the time, an immense silvered colored Lugia was set to make its roost atop the Brass Tower, while its counterpart, the glorious rainbow colored Ho'oh, was set to rest at the Tin Tower. Centuries later, a lightning bolt struck down on the Brass Tower and flames engulfed the area for three days. Lugia and Ho'oh escaped to the skies unharmed, but three Pokemon had died within those flames. It was only until a downpour occurred that the fire stopped burning. Ho'oh revived those three Pokemon, which were speculated to be Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. These three were then revived as Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Legends say that these three legendary beasts symbolized the events that occurred, Raikou being the lightning that struck, Entei being the fire that burned, and Suicune being the downpour that quelled the flames. Another trio, being the legendary birds, would then be beaten by Lugia for trying to destroy the world. It was only until humans saw the way Lugia fought and managed to subdue the three birds that they considered Lugia the master of the birds. Articuno and Moltres' combined powers of ice and fire are the source and cradle of the oceans, and Zapdos' electric energy creates the currents and streams, which is why the three ancient creatures are closely bound to the guardian of the ocean, Lugia. 400 years before modern society, a ninja accidentally invented the TM, Toxic. Hundreds of years later, a person would make a puppet as a present for a princess. But for some reason, this puppet somehow came to life and became a Pokemon. Another Pokemon accidentally created at this time was Majerna. It was accidentally made. A sphere in this Pokemon's chest is known as the Soul Heart. The Soul Heart is the true body of Majerna. Since then, humans began to want to create their own Pokemon. Thus, scientists attempted to construct Mew, but failed and ended up making Ditto. Later on, scientists would create a scientifically engineered Pokemon, Porygon. In contemporary history, some years prior to the date, Mewtwo is cloned from Mew. Mewtwo is subjected to abuse and negligence, growing hatred towards humans. Eventually, the power Mewtwo possesses was too much, and the scientists are unable to contain it. It later escapes and destroys Cinnabar Island's Pokemon Mansion. Centuries later, civilizations began to be built, and also when the first Pokemon League competitions start to take place. A repeated cycle of evil teams appear, and heroes come to stop them. And the rest starts at the beginning of the game of the series, and continues to update as the games continue being released.